when I made this album, I got to write the whole thing, and all I wanted was for it to be heard. Like, and I didn't know what capacity or any of that. I just knew that I wanted the songs to be heard. And the fact that they've been embraced like they have, and, I mean, number one, like, that's the number one most played song in the country at, at that week. Like, that's a crazy thing for me to even wrap my head around. So um, it, it's it's bigger than I could have ever expected. Yeah, it's not easy to get a number one single. Let's Jeez. just clarify that. Just one, but you're, you're going to have three <laughs> It's crazy. Shortly. It's been yeah, amazing. Yeah. So sitting in your bedroom, singing into a brush, Yeah. did you ever think that all of this, everything that's going on was even possible? No, I think I dreamt it. Like, I think when I dreamt my hardest, I dreamt about this. Right. Like, when I dreamt my hardest, I dreamt about playing LP Field at CMA Fest and, like, singing uh, my number one song with Taylor Swift. Like, that's the kind of stuff in my biggest dreams. That that was it, so. And they've happened. They've happened, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you mentioned Peter Pan is one of your favorite songs on the album. Yeah. Why so? Why is this so important to you? I think that making this record, I wanted it to cover 12 to 21, which is kind of broad. Um, and so a lot of it was that, like, kind of finding myself and, and being young and being, you know, like, 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 love me like you mean it and dibs. Um, those are like very flirty, fun, mm -hmm. kind of carefree songs. And that's a big part of me. But um, Peter Pan was the one that I feel like I kind of got to get a little deeper in and kind of get some some songwriter in, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which I really wanted people to see. So aside from everything that's going on with the number ones, you're going on your first ever headlining tour. Yes. The first time. Yes. Tour. The first time tour. Tell me about that. What can we expect from that? What are you hoping to have I'm show excited. us. I, you know, I feel like I've gotten to watch and learn from the people that I've gotten to open up for the last few years. And, um, and I've gotten to just kind of watch, you know, these legends put together these shows. And, um, and then now that I have three songs that hopefully people know, I kind of wanted to get up close and personal with people and, and let them see more of me. So, um, it's going to be fun putting together, you know, the bells and whistles and, a big old show. I'm what, stoked. If you can wish for anything to have on your I tour, I want a what confetti would cannon so bad. <laughs> I thought you'd say fire or something. No, like that, I want a confetti can, cannon. All right, done. Can we make that happen? Yeah, I really <laughs> hope so. <laughs> so you're a glitter bomb. Are, you're actually on tour now with Rascal Flats. Yeah, still going. How's that go? It's good. It's almost over. It feels mm -hmm. like it was so quick, but um, there are three weekends left, and I've heard that they're giant pranks pranksters. So I'm waiting. Nothing yet. They're lurking. Yep. I can tell they're planning okay. something. It's coming. And I'm planning something, too, so I'll oh, let you know. retaliation. Yes, retaliation. <laughs> well, you've been on the road with them. You're doing all this stuff. Do you have time to yourself to do anything that you want to do? Ooh, <laughs> a little bit. Every every now and again. I, I kind of, like, plan breaks now. Instead of, like, trying to get, like, a day at home a week, I yeah. just, I'll, like, block a week. So, like, I'm going to Europe after the flat store for a week just to kind of reset. Oh, nice. So that's kind of, like, how I'm learning to, to find balance. Yeah. That sounds fantastic, and I'm so glad that you came by, stopped to chat with Thank us. Thank you. Do you. Would you have a moment to sing us a song on your <gasps> way out to, I would to love say goodbye to. to all of us? Peter Pan, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. The smile, the chime, the words, the spark, everything you had it. I guess I had a naive heart, cause boy, I let you have it. You said I was your only. I never thought you'd leave me lonely. You're just a lost boy with your head up in the clouds. You're just a lost boy. You never keep your feet on the ground. Yeah. You're always gonna fly away just because you know you're never gonna learn there's no such place as a Neverland. You don't understand, you'll never grow up. You're never gonna be a man, Peter Pan. And deep down I knew that you were too good to be true. But every piece and part of me just wanted to believe in you yeah. Now it's happily ever and ever I guess now I know better You're just a lost boy With your head up in the clouds You're just a lost boy You never keep your feet on the ground You're always gonna fly away Just because you know you can 
Just a lost boy. I know who you are, and you don't know what you lost, boy. You're too busy chasing stars, and you're always gonna fly away. Just because you know you can, never gonna learn. There's no such place. Hey, I'll never land. You don't understand. So almost gone. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. Thank you so much, Kelsey Ballerini, Peter Pan, about to be number one. That's my yeah, prediction. Hopefully. It's going to be number one. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. That Thank was awesome. You. you know, I love you. I adore you. Mwah. Good luck Thank with you for everything. everything. Thank you.